Okay, so a frequent question I get asked a lot here on my channel is how do we convert a JB format PlayStation 3 games into .iso images? So I'm going to be showing you how to do this today and it's surprisingly really simple. And whilst we're here, I'm also going to show you how to extract ISO images back to JB format. I'm going to show you a couple of other useful things too. But before I start this video, if you like what you see today, be sure to hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming in retro emulation content as well as retro gaming documentaries so what we're going to do first set is head over to a particular website and we're going to download ps3 iso tools now to my knowledge this is the most recent version granted this is a few years old but it works well on everything i've tested this with so we're just going to hit download now i've already got this on my desktop ready for this tutorial so what i need to do with what i've just downloaded is extract it so in this case i'm going to be using winrar so i'm going to right click on the zip folder use winrar and extract here and once that's been extracted we can then delete the zip folder as we just extracted everything we need if we go inside of this folder here's what we've got inside so there isn't much there we're going to open up the program by double left clicking on ps3 iso tools dot executable and we're going to get a little pop-up and it's just going to say welcome this is the first time we're using iso tools and it's also telling us that we need to set up ps3 system and firmware so we're going to go to ok now it was just talking about firmware so what this is referring to is this drop down just here now i recommend playstation 3 users as well as rpcs 3 users selecting the last version of firmware which was actually put into this program when it was released 4.76 okay i also recommend leaving ps3 system to custom firmware or cfw so what we're going to do first of all then is actually create an iso so on my desktop i've got this game dark so if we go inside this is a typical jb folder ps3 game what we're going to do first of all is create a new folder on the desktop and we're going to go to new folder and i'm going to call this folder dark sector once we've done that, I'm going to go to create ISO and we're going to leave everything just here as it is. And this is going to work perfectly. We're going to go to continue. The first thing it's going to ask for is a source directory. So what this is asking for is where the game that we want to convert to ISO, where it's actually located. So we know it's on my desktop. So I'm going to select desktop and here it is, Dark Sector Europe. I'm just going to left click on that and just left click on the name of the game itself. I'm not going to click on PS3 game or USR directory, just literally the game. Press OK. Now it's going to say where we want to generate the ISO file. So I've just created the dark sector folder on the desktop and that's what I want this to convert to. So I'm going to select desktop and here we go, dark sector and if I press OK. And here we go then, so it was that quick. And now let me just tell you that not all games are gonna convert this quickly, it's simply because Dark Sector is a fairly small game. So if we go inside the Dark Sector now, here is my ISO image, and it's weighing in at 1.22 gigabyte, and that's gonna work perfectly with a PlayStation 3 with custom firmware, and it's gonna work great. So next thing I'm gonna show you then is actually how to convert that ISO back into JB format. So what we're gonna do for now is delete this folder just here containing the JB format game. We don't need that anymore because we're gonna convert the ISO back into that. What we're gonna do is go to extract ISOs, now, if you're using a real PlayStation 3 and for whatever reason you're using a FAT32 device, just hit split big file so you can actually go over the four gigabyte capacity with FAT32. I'm actually gonna go to continue now and I'm gonna select my ISO image, double left click, and it's gonna ask us where we want to store it. So what I'm gonna do is actually pop it back in that dark sector folder. So desktop, dark sector, okay. Okay, so here we go. So we've got a confirmation just here saying that it's been converted. If we go into the dark sector folder, and here's my game from ISO to JB format. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so finally, what I'm going to show you is how to patch ISO images to a particular firmware version to work on a particular machine which has got a particular firmware. We're going to go to patch ISO, patch ISO the firmware version. 
Now, this is your opportunity just here to select a particular firmware version that you want to patch this particular game for. I'm going to randomly choose 4.66. Continue, and I'm going to navigate to where my ISO image is, and it's automatically done that for me. Dark Sector patched to firmware version 4.66. Okay, the game has now been patched to actually run on a PlayStation 3 console with the firmware that I just selected. And that's it for today's PS3 ISO Tools video. So, like I said at the start of this video, a lot of people ask me how you do this over time. So, here you go, my gift from me to you. Enjoy. And until next video comes, stay retro.